since 1998. One and two, perfect. Seattle's historic Paramount Theater has been giving moviegoers a chance to step back in time during their popular series, Silent Movie Mondays. Paramount opened March 1st, 1928. Paramount was quite literally built for showing silent films. This is our chance annually to return it back to its original, opulent, majestic movie house. But long before patrons take their seats, the movie's soundtrack is still being scored. Everything you hear is the real deal. The first time Tacoma's Teddy Gibson heard an organ was as a kid at the music-themed restaurant chain, Pizza and Pipes. I was fascinated by the sound and what they could do with it. And so that was, that was my first time saying, OK, I wonder if I could do something like that. To me, the organ is the ultimate gadget. You've got four keyboards with 61 keys, 32 notes on the pedal, at least 250 different stops. And then you have on two side drawers, your different sound effects. You have well over a thousand things to deal with. Is there anything Teddy can't play? No. <laughs> No, it's all there. Yeah, the question is, what do you want to hear? When the theater was built, this is what the audience would have heard, was this exact sound. Everything is acoustic. While Teddy makes the music... Don't stand up or you'll bonk your head. Volunteers like Phil Hargis make sure it can be heard. Where we are right now is the solo chamber, which is on the house right and about half the organ is in here. Five ranks of pipes on this chest. There's five more ranks down below. I'm a member of the Puget Sound chapter of the American Theater Organ Society, and volunteers like me from that organization have been taking care of this organ for the past, oh, I don't know, 50 or 60 years. Though almost a century has passed since it was installed, the dedicated team of volunteers have the mighty Wurlitzer sounding better than ever. My reward for working on this organ is getting to hear how it sounds in that room out there. There's just nothing else like it. Showtime. For most in attendance, this will be their first time seeing the film. But for Teddy? Many times I will watch the film 10, 20, 30 times over. When you're watching a silent film, you forget the organist is even there. That's the whole goal of the silent film accompanist, is that you forget that they're there because you're so entranced with what's going on, and the music is a part of the characters. I'm always anticipating the next scene. So I'm playing what's happening, but I'm also knowing, OK, this next part is about to happen. I try to take the audience to that experience of what it was back in the 20s and the teens. You went to an experience. That's what it was all about. An experience Teddy Gibson hopes others will get a chance to hear. As long as I'm physically able, I'm more than happy to continue to do it. That is so 